afternoon, my friends, and welcome back to another episode here from the Off Grid Garage in. Yeah. Beautiful clouds. <laughs> it's not so sunny today, but it's alright. I managed to uh, charge the battery to 36% already. We only have 130. So I'm using all the excess energy now to charge the Tesla because we want to go, we need to go to somewhere tomorrow. And with um, 57 kilometers it had, it's not great. So all the excess energy now, thank you. All the excess energy now goes into the Tesla and I keep the battery at 36%. That's enough for hot water tonight and pool pump and some other shit. In today's video, we want to have another look here at our uh, network shelf. This beautiful network shelf here. I just had a thought this morning when I saw this case here, how I can actually close all these gaps here. I probably put some tape on top of it, just some electrical tape, and then get a tube of black silicon and put this from the inside against these holes. And once this is dry, I should be able to take the um, tape off again and it should be okay. If this doesn't work, I have to come up with another solution, but that's it for the moment. So it's out of my head. I've got this huge bar here at the bottom, one at the top. I've got all the mounting holes, which I don't need over there. I've got more holes on this side and some in the bottom here as well. <sighs> I know, right? This is the plan of attack for that. If you have any other ideas, let me know. So we've got these two um, buck converters. I mean, they are step, uh, step up converters. This one is 12 volt, 248 volt, 3 amps. This is for the PoE network switch. It needs 48 volt. And this is 12 volt, 19 volt output. This will be our power supply for home assistant. Exactly. The Intel NAC computer home assistant runs on runs on 19 volts. So we are supplying both of these from this 12 volt fuse holder, which gets um, positive and negative here. We have to run the cable all the way back to the battery shelf over there, because there we have the isolated 12 volt uh, DC to DC converter. And I want to connect this whole network cabinet to this isolated converter there. So, and if something goes wrong with these buck converters, well, they are step up converters. So the worst thing is they are supplying 12 volt to the 48 volt network switch, or they're supplying 12 volt to the Intel NAC computer. And this will either shut them down or they don't work correctly anymore, but they are not going to explode. And I had a look at all my aluminum offcuts here, and this is almost, almost the plate I actually want. Yes, so in this side. And then we have all of the power supply completely on one side of the cabinet. I'll cut another aluminium plate which goes onto these brackets here. So we will have a back plate here and then I mount the Intel NUC, the PoE switch and some other equipment here vertically. And we probably will have a problem with uh, mounting this access point vertically into this rack. This one can always sit flat on the floor of the cabinet then. We have to see. I'm not even sure if it's a good idea to mount this Wi-Fi access point here inside this metal cabinet. Because if the Wi-Fi if the Wi-Fi signal gets too weak, we have to come up with another solution and probably mount it on top or something of it. I don't know yet. We have to find out. We have to see what's going on. But first of all, power supply. This is my main priority today. Okay, let's do the measurement and then I'll cut something out of a bigger sheet of aluminium. I've got heaps of aluminium still here. Jeez, that took me a while to put everything in here. 
Um, first of all, I thought I can mount everything on this plate here and can cable it out of the box and then put it in the box. But no, because some of the mounting screws are actually underneath the components, which is um, generally a bad design. So I had to put in the plate first, then mount these two, mount this one, and then I realized my holes I drilled for this fuse holder don't match. They were off like four or five millimeters. Then I realized this um, fuse holder is not square. Originally, I wanted to have the negative bus bar here on the top. <laughs> but now I have to turn it 90 degrees like this. The cables of the buck converters are still long enough to reach the fuse holder. So that is all good. And positive goes over here then. <laughs> and then of course my 10 millimeter screws weren't long enough, so I needed 16 millimeter screws. So 15 minutes later, everything is done and Bombenfest. You probably will find this funny, but... There's no way to get this plate inside this cabinet. <laughs> There's no way. Even not if I take out all the power supply again, it is not enough room to get actually in. No space. So I probably have to take this cabinet apart. Thankfully it's only screwed, so I should be able to take off the lid and then <laughs> get this back plate in. Measure it, drill it and forget about it. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> okay, I've got this back plate in, baby. Uh, I just needed to lift up this um, roof here a little bit and then I could slide it in so I didn't need to fully disassemble the whole roof which I um, can't do because some of the screws are under these plates so I had to take out this one first. Nah, it's all good, it's in. So then I was thinking well how do we get the cables in from the back because the um, brush plate is behind this mounting plate now and I cannot really reach it. You know, There's a, there's a 25 millimeter gap at the top and at the bottom here, but this is not enough to reach it. Okay, let me show you network cable. We feed this through our brush plate. So I'm feeding this through and here comes the cable. And no problem. And then plug it into the device at any point. So we don't need any service hole or something here, nothing. This can go in and stay there. And then if we need to mount these devices, we can just uh, drill and tap and can vacuum out the debris. So, it should work. Well guys, what can I say? I really had to take out all these components again. I could leave the plate in, but I need to do measurement and also need to fasten these screws here first in this back bracket. Otherwise I can't reach it anymore if these components are already mounted. So I totally screwed up today, I don't know. I really should have started with the back plate first and then do this one, but this one was more interesting with all the components. This one is just a aluminium plate. There's nothing to do and nothing to see here. So I was really keen to mount all these devices, but yeah, it now bites me back. Anyway, it is all done now. I've drilled the holes. I have to put the um, cage nuts in first here before I close everything again. And then I can redo all my components here again. And then we should be done mechanically. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I'm getting better now. So before we mount everything together, I have actually closed here these big back holes, these mounting holes, put some electrical tape on top of it. And now I can use black silicon from the back side. Just put a good plop behind it and smooth it down. And this should then seal up this hole forever. So, and now we can put everything together. <laughs> screws left. Oh man, I think they're going under the back panel somewhere. 
Oh, I have to take. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your amazing support here to all these wonderful and beautiful people who are donating to the channel, becoming a member, buying me a beer or a smoothie or a coffee. And also thank you very much for leaving comments and liking these videos. This all helps out the channel because you, all you, are my only sponsor. So thank you very much for that. And as always, welcome to all the new subscribers. Okay, I think in the next video we can actually cable everything here and then mount this cabinet finally in its final position up there. Once this one is in place and working, it will be amazing. Because this is the next step in the big transformation here of the off-grid garage in sunny hot Australia. Look at this, beautiful. Huh? But now almost all the clouds are gone. Of course, it's always clear during the night. <laughs> Guys, until the next video, you stay charged and stay safe. And thanks again for watching. See you then. Bye bye. Yeah, the network cabinet. Looking good. <laughs>